before we start this vlog, I want to say a quick thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Factor makes my life so much easier. They are fresh, never frozen meals, which is very important to me because frozen food just, you know, it kind of gives me the ick. You can choose from over 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options that just promote a healthy lifestyle. They have options from keto to calorie smart, vegan, and protein plus. Their website is super easy to navigate and you can look through a bunch of delicious recipes. And then once you click on them, you can actually see the macros of each. We literally lived on Factor this week because we had so many renovations going on in the house that we had no access to the kitchen. So these Factor meals were like my saving grace. Today I'm doing the green chili chicken and this honestly might be my top choice. I've never had this one before and it was so freaking good. If you want to try Factor out for yourself, you can get 50% off your first Factor box with my code Kylie50 if you go to factor75.com or click the link and use the code Kylie50. Thank you Factor. I love you. I'm so tired. Uh, so I just got my lips filled yesterday and they're still poofy and they hurt and I'm tired. I have to go around 16 miles this morning, which is the longest I've ever ran in my entire life. Ever, 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 ever. I don't know how this is gonna go. I have my running shoes, my slides, my socks. Hey, girl, watch out. My running vest, my outfit, my sunglasses, and then my half a banana that I'm gonna eat. How you feeling? Good. Dude, the bullet is bulleting. <gasps> Here's a little running OOTD. This bra is from Lululemon. It is so long ago, but it's still one of my favorites ever. I don't think they make it anymore, sadly. I wish that they made it in so many colors because it's it's like awesome. These leggings are from Amazon. You've probably heard me talk about them for every single time because I have like four pairs of them and I just like cycle through them. I love these ones for running. They stay up so nice and they're just a staple black legging, okay? Slides are from Target. And then these are my running shoes for the day. I don't know if I'm gonna regret going the carpet plated for today, but you know, I'm just gonna do it. So we'll, we'll see what, we'll see how it goes. I've been doing them for my other long runs and it seems to be fine. One of the most important parts, the vest. Honestly, I felt like a dweeb the first time I wore this vest, but now I'm like, I'm so thankful for this thing. This one's from Lululemon. I think it's called the Fast and Free vest, I think, but I'll link it in the description. It's just so nice. Like it has so many pockets. I have my little salt tabs in here. These are like electrolyte tablets. These are so good, by the way. Like the peach ones are so good. And then I just got these water bottles off of Amazon. They're like the flat ones. So you can just like squeeze them in your mouth really easily. I have to take off this tag and then fill them up. So I have two water bottles because I get really, really thirsty on runs. Like last week I had to stop at like literally every single water fountain. Not kidding, I was so thirsty. And then I'll carry like my car keys and my phone and like things in this vest, but it's so helpful. Just like have my hands free when I'm running. Last but not least, I just got some running sunglasses specifically because last week I got a bug in my eye and it was like in there for like two miles and I could not get it out and it was so horrible and there's just so many gnats out there. I was like, I need some of these. So I got some running sunglasses. I got these ones from Aloe. They're just like plain black. I was debating getting colored, but I was like, I'm not a colorful girl. I think like the black are more sleek. You know, I might look like a, the Terminator. I'll be back. A dweeb? I don't know. I don't know what I look like. This is the fit. I'm gonna do a slick back one. I have to go get hairspray from inside. You're probably wondering, we're in our back house right now because our floors are getting done in the house. And that's also why I haven't posted in like two weeks. Uh, so sorry about that. But yeah, it's been a little bit crazy over here. I will show you the floors because it's so good. Our furniture is getting moved back in today. So life should be more normal. Good morning. 
Good morning. How are you feeling? Well, Kylie actually was the queen with taping me. I don't even know how she knows how to do this. Yeah, just um, got the skills. Yeah, I have a little torn meniscus, which we're gonna go as far as we can. If we keep keep going on a straight line, hopefully that'll be fine. I feel like it'll but be fine. I do want to peep on these ufas. Ofos, actually. Ooh, give me a little peeky peek. Just tell them. You can't even really see, but. The support on They these? are so squishy. You guys gotta know about them. These, they're amazing. Ufos. Ufos. Here's the brand. They are so good. I need to. I need the black ones. I Clean pages, motivation. Um, I think today's word is forward. Nice. We gotta forward. keep. We gotta keep, Let's keep moving forward. forward. Nice. Keep going. No matter how hard and terrible you feel, you gotta keep moving forward. One step at a time, baby. Yeah, <laughs> Mile ten. Goggins two-hour motivational video. Sure. Two hours? Jeez. Just in case things go weary. All right. <laughs> Who's ready? Not going any further. Twenty-eight thousand steps. I know. <laughs> it was like awesome. twenty-seven something thousand. No, twenty-eight thousand. That's steps. like triple what some people are gonna do today. I know. Thank Sixteen you. miles. <coughs> Everybody. Massive. And we're done. It's Saturday. It just turned eight a.m. We ran sixteen miles, and it was horrible. Thank you for asking. What did you guys think? I loved it. Every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. No way, dude. You know there were some highs and there were some. Dude, honestly, there weren't that many lows. I thought it was pretty smooth. Highs were high until the last two miles, and then much smoother than the ten. It was smoother than last week, but the last like four miles, I was like, yeah, I might die for real. Seriously, my hips and knees were like not taking it. After super long runs like that, it's important to hydrate, but even more, it's important to drink electrolytes. So I picked this one up at QT. It has pretty good ingredients, comparatively to like Gatorade and stuff. It is a little bit salty, but I don't mind it after a long run because I'm like so depleted of electrolytes. Eventually, I'll be able to take powders ones, but those are in the works. So anyways, cheers. What sounds better to you right now? Food. Just in general. I'm so tired, my body hurts so bad. I just took a shower, I feel. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> no, I feel like a tiny bit better, but I'm starving, like we need to eat. <sighs> that was so hard. I don't know how people do this like all the time. It's gonna be us soon. I don't know about that. So our options are Chick-fil-A breakfast, goaded. Always delicious, but I'm kind of feeling something a little more spunky. Like I, I could go for a Shug's bagel. That's not spunky though, because we just had it. Something like if you I want, didn't if have you it. Want you spunky? had it. Should we go sit down somewhere? We can go real spunky. Crack a barrel, baby. Uh -huh. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Let me find a place. Let's do Shug's. You didn't get it last time. <laughs> It's the perfect Saturday. If I could shave my face. Okay, so these are the same thing, but one has cheese. Oh, one, different bagels. one's garlic. Oh my gosh, that's such a good bagel. I'm gonna eat this quicker than a ticket in a New York minute. I just woke up from an absolutely hefty nap. That uh, 4 a.m. wake up call, it's really, really getting to me. My lips are so swollen. <laughs> Honestly, embarrassing. <laughs> I have to go to. Uh, you guys, I feel like you guys remember Sarah Norman from the from the soccer vlogs. I'm going to her wedding tonight, so Bronson and I need to start getting ready. Please, hey, stop, please. We're going to her wedding tonight, and um, so we have to start getting ready now. But we just absolutely took the longest nap, and then we watched Love Island. I'm trying to get Bronson into Love Island, so I started the UK season, season seven, and. Wait, was it season seven? Yeah, it was season seven. It's good so far, but we only watched the episode, so 
Hey, stop, please. But I have to show you guys around the house because sorry I didn't vlog for like two weeks. That was, you know, that's my bad, okay? We were working with all of our friends in the back house and we were also living back there. We were like sleeping on a futon. It was just like chaotic and I was like, I can't vlog. Cause I'm like not even, li like I just, everything was chaotic, okay? So I didn't vlog for like two weeks, but um, the floors are finally done and I am so, so obsessed with them. Like they look so good. They sanded down the floors to their original color. They put a water-based I think it's like a polyurethane on it and it's just so much better. It's so much brighter in this whole house. Honestly, we didn't have much control over like the color because like once they sanded it down, the original floor is just, this is the color that they are, but it just brightens up the whole space. I just, I am obsessed with how they turn out and the guys we use are amazing. So if you guys are trying to do something like this, you can DM me and I'll give you their information, but it just, I love it, it looks so freaking good. Every room, I'm just like so pleased with it. <gasps> Do you like it? Do you like it? Also, guys, Mango has gone so big. She's gone so big. So anyways, I'm just very happy to be back in our own home and like just have our own space back. Yeah, that the last week was like a lot, like it was a lot. Here's what I'm planning on wearing tonight. I just got this dress in from Anthropology. It's really cute. It's like sheer. I'm gonna have to wear like some black spandex underneath, but it's kind of like a more summery dress, but it's black. So I feel like it can be dressed up a bit. Her wedding's outside and it's hot today. So um, I think this will be perfect because it's like light and airy. So 16 miles is the longest I've ever gone in my entire life. I can't believe we did that today. It feels like a fever dream. I'm not even kidding you. It feels like it happened like days ago. It was literally this morning, but the 4 a.m. wake up call. 4 a.m. wake up call was rough. It was so rough this morning, but we got it done. Honestly, I can't stress enough how much like having people to run with helps. Like just knowing that other people are showing up, it's literally like playing a team sport. Like you know other people are showing up, so it gives you no option but to show up. Like you have to show up. And it's just so good for accountability because I'm telling you, if I didn't have a group of people, going out on a Saturday morning and running 16 miles by myself would be just i don't i would not be doing that plain and simple i just don't think i could do it so i'm just like really thankful for my friends and like our running group and the Strava group and just like having so many people in so many different corners like holding me accountable for this because running a marathon has been like on my bucket list to do for a really long time. I honestly never thought I would actually get around to it to be honest with you but I'm so happy that I'm doing it. So our marathon is in December so we are training quite a bit early but that's because we are doing an ultra essentially an ultra marathon in uh august which i know it sounds stupid to do an ultra marathon before the actual first marathon but the ultra marathon is like a, more of like a challenge i'm looking at it as because it's like up an incline a 12 percent incline for 12 hours so you go like up and down this one hill for literally 12 hours but i'm doing it with a partner Paige actually just hurt her knee so i'm not sure if i'm going to do it with Paige. we'll see what we end up doing but yeah that's in like a month and i'm scared we're ready about to head out to the wedding here's the um outfit you know for a summer wedding this is like breezy and look who's here the beautiful Reggie. He looks stunning. I love it. I love. Love. These heels are like 10 feet tall. Monica just not awfully. Oh, I'm breaking down. My legs hurt so bad. <laughs> okay, once breakfast. Come on. You guys were absolutely insane this morning. Thank you. wedding was so fun last night. It was so good to see everybody. I got to see a bunch of soccer girls I haven't seen in a while and Norman looks so pretty and her whole wedding was like beautiful. And we got to sleep in our own bed last night, which was just 
incredible. It's so incredible. But today, today I have to go film some stuff for healthies, which is exciting. I have to film 80 new exercises for the dumbbell only section, which just kind of takes a long time because we have to like go to a certain studio that has like the whole white, all white background. To, so it'll look really, so it'll look really clean and crisp and it'll just look really good. And then, yeah, and then the rest of the day I'm getting ready for the week which I'm so excited about because last week was just like chaotic. And then this next weekend, I have um, the Ice Pearl event with Nikki and Brinley. And so we're going to California for that. And so we leave on like Thursday, I think. So another, <gasps> another busy week. Every morning my lips are so swollen. They should go down, but I'm like hoping they need to go down because this is like good. They're just puffy. And I don't want them this puffy, so I'm like getting a bit stressed. I'm like, I hope this isn't the final form. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's not. They're still so swollen. I can like, not, no. They're still so swollen. <laughs> oh my God, that bird looked like it was gonna just fly. And that would have been so scary, dude. This is going crazy. I know, I'm scared. If it flies in here, I'm gonna freak out. Hi, yeah. I have, what about you? Not too bad. Nice. I love that. That's so fun. Thank you. All Thanks. You too. Have a good one. Well, that's, that was fun. Thanks for stopping, babe. Go, oh, go. Name something better post filming working out. I'll wait. I'll wait, huh? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. We got some olive G. When you're here, your family. Oh baby, we got the chicken oki, we got the salad, we got the breadsticks. I got a bone to pick with this place. Why? Where? What happened to the chocolate mint? The mint. Oh yeah. Why? What are you holding? To go box. That's that's too much. I just woke up from like a three-hour nap. I'm not even kidding you. I was so exhausted. This always happens the day after we run. I'm like, it always catches up to me. I'm just like exhausted, like so exhausted. So I really needed that. Now I'm gonna do a little quick clean of the house, honestly. It's pretty clean just from this week. Like the guys put everything back together almost perfectly. Like they did such a good job. You guys, stop biting his ankles, please. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like it, he told me. Mango, stop. So anyways, the house is like decently clean. I just need to do a ton of laundry. So I'm going in, we just stripped our bed. And I'm gonna clean all the sheets and do that just for like a quick refresh. I need to clean the bathroom a bit. It's kind of a lot. And then <laughs> this is literally like all of our stuff from when we were living in the back house when they were doing the floors. So we need to empty all that, figure out stuff to do. Y'all are crazy. This room's pretty clean. Not much to do in here. Hey, 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 stop. But yeah, we have a ton of laundry. And then Bronson's out in the back house, cleaning that out and like getting it ready because we're gonna really try and convert it to an office this week. So I'm sure you guys know Paige. She's been in the vlogs before, but she's like one of my best friends and she also does the labels for powders. And we were able to hire her full time and she's starting next week. So I am so excited, but we're like just trying to get the back house all ready for her and like for it to like really feel like an office space, not just like our back house, you know what I mean? I'll take you guys out there and kind of show you everything that we've got. But this week is like an exciting week because it's the week before Paige starts and the ice barrel event is this week And honestly, I'm just trying to like get back on track because last week kind of like really threw me for a loop The dumbbell only portion is launching on healthies really soon So I'm trying to get that all done this week. Just like a lot of a lot of things this week Also, let me just tell you I bought this off of um, a girl's TikTok shop I'll try and remember her name, but like she makes these pickle sweatshirts. I'm just obsessed. Like I'm gonna wear this every single day. No joke. Like, who wouldn't just wanna wear jars of pickles? Like this is like amazing. Anyways. Uh.
Okay, I have to go grab our water filter because we've been using it over there for just like the office, but we need it in the house. I wanna show you how the back house is coming along because it's gonna be so sick. Also, we got these plants literally last week. We killed them. Bronson and I cannot keep anything alive and that was proven to be very true. Okay, so here's what we've done so far at the office. We're gonna take all this stuff and take it to my parents' ranch to store. This is my desk. I have my walking treadmill, which I love this thing. And we all have standing desks. And then we have our little pullout couch just in case guests need to come and stay. We got our neon sign, our powders wall. It's really coming together. These are like our very first mock-ups of the powders. And then here's just basically every other flavor ever. And then we're gonna have more when we get new more products and stuff. It's just so fun and cute and I love it. And these are gone, we're gonna do probably two more desks here just to like give everyone some space. It's gonna look really good. And the dogs like love it over here. She is so chill over here for some reason in the house. She's a menace, but over here, she is just a little angel. Not your little angel, huh? You're always a little angel, my little, my little king. Yes. But anyways, that's the back house. It's really coming along and we are so excited to get started with Paige and like get this thing all rolling. I hope you guys have a great week this week and I hope your week is productive and stress-free. We're about to go to the grocery store and get some snackies for out here and then also just prep for the week, like just a little, few little things. Um, and then we're gonna chill for the rest of the night. Maybe watch a movie. Bronson and I have been watching the most subpar movies. We wa we've watched like how many? It's becoming our personality at this point. Mm, it literally is. Three in a row that we were like, what? why do we do that? What do yeah, we literally like three Netflix movies that we were like, that was just so not good. I kind of like it though. It's but kinda, like not bad, like you're like, whatever. It's kind of fun watching a movie that you're like, like a TV show, it's like, you gotta really like it. A movie, it's like yeah. an hour and a half, that was pretty lame. That's but it, that's all you have to devote to it. Just, I'm also trying to get him onto Love Island, which I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm trying, so. The UK version, of course. I love y'all. I'm fan of it so far. Can I play full chat? Can I play full chat? Ew. Uh, Anyways, I love y'all and I hope you have the best week ever. Um, I promise I won't go two weeks without posting again. Anyways, love y'all. Bye. Take